okay guys um welcome to my third video on the you know, wireless hacking exposed so in this tutorial we'll be looking at the um, how <coughs> to use john the ribbon along with a crack engine to crack password so the idea behind using john the ribbon is to be able to pause your attack and come back later to it so the first thing that i'm going I'd like to show you is um let me just change the directory to my so what we'll be doing is that um we'll be using join the reaper to crack password we'll be using join the reaper along with the um, a crack engine in order for us to be able to be able to restore to pause and restore our session where we left so for example if i say join the reaper and i specify the wait list wait uh, wait list and my wait list is um let me just split ls wait list is password Dot and then um what i will do i will um stand it out so that we can see the output okay let me press enter so as you can see immediately when i press enter John the Ripper is going to go through all of the dictionary of the pass of the password list that I have. So the main idea here is not to tell John the Ripper to print out all of the password that exist within our password list. The main idea here is to use John the Ripper as a tool to be able to pause your attack and to to resume it during your password cracking for example let me say in the scenario by like you are cracking a wi-fi password let me just show you you are cracking a, a wi-fi password and then um, you realize that it's taking too long for you to be able to crack it so you can use a tool such as um join the reaper to be able to play around with it to pause it and resume it So as you can see, like um, this file to be cracked is going to take uh, one hour, two two hours, thirty sixteen minutes, etc. So in the case whereby like you cannot be able to wait for those hours, so you can use uh, John the Ripper to be able to resume it and restore it again. So in this case, for now, we will cancel it. <coughs> So, so John the Ripper will help us to be able to, as I said, John the Ripper will help us to be able to resume and pause. So the first thing that you need to do is to type John the Ripper, John, and then after that you need to specify the word list wait list wait dash and then um you need to specify the password list okay let me just check my password list again now then uh, after that you need to standard out which means you'll type uh, std std out and then you'll be creating a session whereby you are web the session command it will tell join the reaper that it needs to create this um, particular 
process on a certain session it can be this session it will be saved on a, a file and then you can name your session anything really so in my case I'll name it test and then you'll pipe it to an acrylic engine acrylic engine suit after it you'll have to specify the w command and then the dash here tells acrylic engine that it must use the specified password list by john the ripper so acrylic engine will know that it has to come and click all of this password using a session standard standard output on the screen using the session call test etc so after that you need to specify your handshake so then you press cap let me just um, close this let me press enter so it says a uh, quick thing acrylic engine control c to abort so there is a mistake that we did okay yes we forgot to specify the pssid which is the mac address of uh, of our target uh, wireless access point so what i will do i'll say get to get I take it access point make address and then there's the make address here I'll paste it here so you'll have to close uh, okay so I'll be pressing enter so as you can see immediately when I press enter John the Ripper will go through all of those passwords and then uh, it will transfer them to a crack engine and a crack engine will be attempting attempting to crack them step by step so what we can do now we can cancel the session and then uh, try to restore it again so as you can see now let me just cancel it and just wait up until it cancels it might take some time it's a little bit buggy sometimes So let me cancel it again. Okay, um, refusing, refusing. Okay, it's fine. So as you can see, it says key not found. But if, if you can see, like we tested, um, this large amount of password list so in the case whereby we want to continue instead of us starting from the beginning of the password list instead of us starting from the beginning we want to continue to restore our session so we'll be using the command that is as follow you'll say drone I specify the program tool named John and you will use restore restore session rest, restore so you'll specify the name of the session that you named your crack your cracking file and then after that you need to pipe it to a crack engine a crack engine specify the p for the pssid 
the w for the password list and tell a click engine that it must re restore specifically it must read the password list that was in the session test and then you'll have to specify the handshake so in my case my handshake is at uh, p cap so what i'll do be doing i'll be you can press enter so as you can see it will start to resume where it will start where the the session was cancelled and it will resume where it was paused so this is a method that you can use um, to use uh, john the reaper and the acrylic engine to pause and resume session so please guys do like my and if you like this video do not forget to like and subscribe and if you did not understand anything that what is happening here please go through my first go through my handshake video and um wi-fi clicking videos so that you can understand because of this is a continuation of the first two videos thank you guys please do not forget to like and subscribe